What's up guys, and welcome to 10 really just odd little gadgets, which I think will make quite a fun episode just to unbox and see if they live up to their claims. Let's get right into the video. The first one is one I'm really excited for. This is essentially an air football. Think those air hockey tables when you go to an arcade, this emulates that without the need for a table at all. Built inside is a pretty gigantic fan which roars to life as soon as you turn it on. And I mean that in the literal sense of the word because this is a loud little thing. Having said that, even though the pretty crummy packaging doesn't exactly inspire confidence, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Within a couple of minutes of powering it on, although you do have to provide your own batteries which isn't great, this thing is flying across my room. You could practice by yourself, kicking it against a wall, or you could have a full-on 4v4 air football game. It's also padded all the way around the side, so it means it not only keeps the device safe, but also your feet. The next item is the rather unfortunately named anal writing tablet. And this is basically an iPad Pro for $20. I'm kidding, but what it does do is replace the writing slate functionality. So bundled inside the box you get this stylus, and it's very responsive, and it feels very natural on the screen's display. But the best bit here is giving that little button at the bottom one tap, and it automatically removes all your text from the screen. It also has the benefit of being far slimmer and lighter than any conventional tablet you could buy in the shop, but also it's powered by this little battery in the corner, which is going to last a lot longer than your iPad. It's also got a little lock switch in the corner, which once activated, stops you accidentally erasing your masterpiece. The next product might look a little bit familiar. This is an anti-slip mat, but the benefit here is that this is by far the cheapest one I've ever come across. What it does is attaches to just about any surface you can think of, horizontal, vertical, or anywhere in between and it allows you to comfortably place objects at angles that you never would have thought possible. Just as an example, here is my smartphone resting against a vertical wall. And the best bit is it uses no adhesive. You can take objects off, put them on, rinse and repeat. For those of you who've been following my desk setup series, you might know that I really hate cables all over the place. So this tiny little one over here is a cable organizer, but unlike anyone we've ever seen before. Whilst on the rear it has a piece of 3M tape so you can stick it to any object, which is fairly normal. These little tabs you see on there are completely magnetic. So you can remove them, you can add extra ones, and you simply slide one of your cables through it and clip the magnet back on. This little thing makes so much sense. You can easily tug the cable in and out without moving the enclosure, and when you're not using it, it stays harmlessly docked in the station. The only thing I would say which is a bit of a shame is that it doesn't support wider cables. A lot of the laptop chargers won't work through this. The next one, to be honest, I don't have a clue why it's called Thinking Putty, but what it does do is pretty cool. We have two sections to this packaging. On one side we have a little tub of putty, which is in fact magnetic. On the other section we have a tub to store it in, which also contains a magnet. And it is the fusion and interaction of these two products that actually makes it interesting. So you could place the magnet on top of the putty and just see how it manipulates it. Or you could thin it out and move a magnet around it. Or you could even stow it away in a box in a certain manner and then check on it in 10 minutes. The only thing I wasn't a huge fan of is it kind of leaves a little bit of an oily residue on your fingers, which is kind of grim. Next up is a tiny little box which is packed to the brim with magnets, but not necessarily magnets in a form you're used to seeing them in. These are tiny little spheres. The green matte finish makes a lot of sense. It makes them feel far more high quality than these standard shiny metallic ones we're used to seeing. And whilst I did have a little bit of a problem with quality control, for the most part, it's a really enjoyable experience. These are powerful magnets, and you'll find you can manipulate each one individually to create towering structures, bracelets and necklaces, or even just random abstract art. If you, like a lot of other people, are a chronic fiddler, just looking for the next thing to scratch that itch after fidget spinners, this could very well be the way to go. So the next product is the flying alarm clock, made especially for people who just refuse to get up in the morning. So when the alarm turns on, as well as creating this siren sound that sounds like hell itself, take a listen here. It also fires this copter-shaped object all the way into the air. The idea being that in order to deactivate the alarm, you've got to get out your bed, pick it up, and plug it back in. Which is a great concept, but unfortunately a lot of the time it ends up less than 5 centimeters away from the alarm. Which means picking it up and placing it back on doesn't even need to get you out of bed. On top of that, the controls were a little bit fiddly and didn't feel too high quality. Now this is one I was really looking forward to trying. These are LED shoelaces. They come with two hubs and then two cables, which are made of something they call optical fiber. So the two hubs contain the light bulbs, which are going to shine down the optical fibers in order to light them all up, along their entire length. 
So just get some shoes you want to try it on, undo the normal laces, and tie these through instead. The instruction manual then teaches you how to wire them up, and my first impression was really quite good. Whilst they're not as flexible as standard laces, they do do a pretty good job of keeping your shoes from falling off, which is kind of what laces are meant for. On top of that, we have this extremely cool LED effect. It doesn't work too great outdoors, but in any indoor environment, literally any person you pass has to do a double take. On top of that, tapping the button at the top will cycle through different lighting modes. This one I was very skeptical about. At such a low price, it claims to be able to reseal already opened bags. That could be crisp packets, biscuits, chocolates, to keep them fresh for longer. Which, to be honest to me, sounded incredible, and I'm amazed because, for the most part, it does actually do what it says. All you've got to do is grab a wrapper that's been somewhat opened, and then get this device and pince around it, as if you were using it as a stapler. You apply a little bit, but not too much pressure, otherwise you'll rip it. And it uses an extremely concentrated amount of heat to slightly melt the wrapper so it rejoins together. Something I've been quite curious about for a long period of time are these supposed oil diffusers. And here we have one of the most inexpensive ones you can get. It's got a wooden enclosure, so it does fit quite organically within my setup and the wooden table I've already got. And it's got a soft glowing LED just under the lid. And the idea is you whack the product open and pour in however much water you want to. You can then add any essential oils like lavender, it could be a bit of chamomile. It's a bit of a shame, but none of these actually come with the product. Screwing the top back on, supplying some power, and within about a minute of doing that, it'll start to diffuse this scent in the room. So it kind of has a twofold benefit. On one hand, it's diffusing this oil around the room, so you'll have this kind of subtle smell of lavender, for example, which might help you sleep. But on the other hand, it's also working as a bit of a humidifier. By spraying this little bit of water around your room, you can just add a little bit of moisture, it's good for plants, and apparently it's good for people too. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you did be sure to smash that subscribe button, I'm Mr Who's The Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.